Our next guest is a skilled linguist from Harvard University, here to talk about her research on the patterns of languages across college campuses. Everyone, please welcome Professor Sharby Davis. Hi, AJ, T-Y-S-M for having me. I've been a profess of Lang at HU for like 40 years ATP. I've seen a lot in my time, and after conducting much re, I believe a new dialect of the English Lang is among us. I call it Abbreviated English Language, or AEL. Okay, that was a lot to take in. Um, how do you even know what TYSM or ATP mean? You're like 80. I'm DTF with the kids. <laughs> that is definitely not what you think it means. WTF are you talking about? You know, DTF, down to fraternize. My grandson taught me it. He's my MCM. Please do not <laughs> use any of those acronyms in reference to your grandson. That is highly inappropriate. TF, why not? He always R-O-F-Ls when I say it. Plus, I'm a profesh. I think I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, tell me more about AEL. How did you conduct your research? I dressed up as a student for a whole week and eavesdropped around campus, um, student combos. I soon noticed all the kids were shortening their words. For example, they say perf instead of perfect. Instead of saying okay, they say KK. Instead of saying I'm going to find out, they say I'm GTFO. The abbreviate lit everything. I thought this is a maze, as they say, and had to find out more TBH. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I shorten my words all the time. I've actually been wondering if it was just me or not. So what are some of the wildest abreves that you've heard? Now you're getting the HOI. Well, there's this one song all the youngins listen to by T-Swift, I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Have you heard of it? It's called A-T-W-S-G-A-V-R-A-L-P-S-T-V-F-T-V. -T Such a tearjerker. I think I just had a stroke. Uh, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, but uh, I don't think I've heard that one before. Wow, FSA. Fake Swifty alert. It's obviously all too well Sad Girl Autumn version recorded at Long Pond Studios, Taylor's version from the vault. IGIK, who listens to the stolen versions? I do not. Then, I was hanging out at the involvement fair by the College Republicans. They were talking about something called the NRA. When I looked up what it meant, my tum-tum started grumbling. <laughs> Uh, your tum tum, I'm sorry, do you find guns like appetizing or something? Guns? What do you think the NRA stands for? It's Avi, the National Restaurant Association. I booked a ticket to their convention next month. I can't wait. I would not be telling people that if I were you. Don't pretend you don't have FOMO. Wait, I just realized your name is lit in abbreviation. What does AJ stand for? Andrew Jackson, Angelina Jolie, Aunt Jemima? Uh, LOL, Grandma, those are definitely not my names. Aw, lots of love to you too, Apple Juice. <laughs> That's not what LOL stands for. Also, when have you ever met anyone named Apple Juice? You never know, it's 2023. IG, it stands for annoying jerk. <laughs> You're low-key pissing me off. When says over BT dubs, BGGE, big girls gotta eat. AWC, anyone want Chipotle? <laughs> All right, now you're just making shit up at this point. Not everything has to be an abbreviation, lady. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. We'll be back here in two weeks, same time, same place, on October 31st for our extra spooky Halloween show. I've been your host, AJ Rubinetti, and this has been The Bi-Weekly Show. Have an amazing night, New York. Keep slaying out there. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, Stop talking about making it worse. Good. See you later, bitches. You have a paper in front of you. Fuck. Wait, is that for Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I fucked that up. You had it. You know I'm out of town, so you in my round. My pussy no fit. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay, Obviously. Just, keep, just keep rolling, just keep rolling. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting it. I'm it's days before I just go blah blah.